Ready for me? Yeah, I'm ready. My first tattoo I got done by Phil Sparrow in Oakland, uh, California. How old were you? I was uh, 21, I believe. He waited. My father promised me that if I got one... But this is when he went to California. There wasn't going to be oh, a happy 69. thing. <laughs> so I respected him. My father didn't say no to too many things, and so, you know. But when I was out there, I figured they're going to be happy to see me when I get home. <laughs> because, but you know, the West Coast was cheaper then. This, this, this baby was three bucks and it was 50 cents more for the name. Wow. California was definitely cheap. This would yeah, have probably been about 10, is. 12 bucks in New York. And when he did this name, that son of a gun, he just dipped in the ink, just made an arc of, without the machine running, and just freehanded them letters in. You could still read them. That's from 67. So what is that, 20 years? About 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Give a take. Yeah. yeah. Give a take. And of course, I made a wise crack about some guy that got dizzy. And he said, well, we'll see what, you know, he, he was like a very educated guy, Phil Sparrow. I believe he was a college teacher, college professor. We'll see how tough you are when you get it. He said, oh, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth of mine. But I, I, was so, I was so high to be getting the tattoo. I didn't even... <laughs> think about what it felt like. I was in heaven. So I was I was hooked on tattoos from about eight years old. I really was. I, cu I couldn't fathom it. Like, Jesus, something that never washes off your arm. And, you know, my crazy cousin's husband told me they do it. I said, what, injection needle? He said, yeah. And I said, holy I crap, these thing. guys really have yeah. to be good. If they can inject something into you like that. <laughs> When we used to go to That's Coney funny. Island, man, I was in front of it. There was two stands that were open, Max Peltz and, uh, and the Greco brothers. They couldn't chase you. I got kicked out of every tattoo studio in Coney Island because I was a kid, 12, 13. The only guy to let you hang out yeah, Eddie. the longest? Eddie was, Eddie, Eddie was a good guy, a crazy Eddie. He, uh, he had just opened up. <clears throat> what was that? On Surf Avenue, right? Right, 12th Street. Yeah, and he was real nice to me, you know, and I... Unless he was planning on tattooing me at that age, I doubt it. You know, they were real down on it then, the cops. <clears throat> but uh, that was my first experience. Then after that, I met Pete uh, Poulos. We used to work out together. And uh, I helped him open his first place uh, out here in the island. <clears throat> and I started getting tattooed. Richie did a lot of my early stuff. Broke his balls like crazy. <laughs> No. <laughs> and then I started, to, to, you know, out of the house. You know, I had a regular job. And uh, here I is today. <laughs>